All right, guys, this video, now doing some oil videos. This video, we're gonna talk about oil analysis. Now, in Canada, there is, there's a few guy, different guys that do oil analysis. And down in the States, I'm sure there's a bunch of different guys that do oil analysis. Now, somebody that I've kind of got hooked up with a bit, um, and lots of, he gives, has lots of good information, which is Lake Speed Jr. Um, he owns, I don't know if he owns the whole thing or if he owns part of it. Anyways, he owns part of it. Um, Speed Logics um, oil analysis. I'll put a link. There'll be a link in the description. I'll put a, the, I, I, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, I have watched a bunch of the videos, but I, you know, it's been a long day. But, so talking about oil analysis. Now, why do an oil analysis? And is it a waste of money? Is it worth the money? Um, you know, and there again, like I said, why would you do an oil analysis? Now I do oil analysis on my stuff usually once a year. So if I prim primarily are driving, um, you know, a vehicle just in the summertime, I haven't had it apart um, and I've driven all, all summer. Um, you know, if I've changed the oil, you know, usually, you know, you got three or four vehicles, you end up not putting that many kilometers on each one, right? I always change the oil in the fall on my stuff that sits in the summertime, uh, or sits in the wintertime, sorry. I change my stuff in, the, I change the oil in the fall, so the oil's not sitting, the old oil's not sitting in it all winter. And that is when I do an oil analysis on it. Now, the reason I do an oil analysis is because I want to see what's floating in there that shouldn't be. Um, and also, too, what, with an oil analysis, I'm gonna to try to put the, the pictures up right off the website, um, but I will put a link to their website in here. If you're interested in having oil analysis done, you can, I, I don't have, I'm not an affiliate or anything of them. You just, you can go and use, but they give you lots of good information um, to be able to, uh, I don't know if make a decision is the right word, but um, to be informed, that's maybe the right word. So I'm trying to inform you guys, I guess. Now. The reason that you're you're doing an oil analysis, the big one, wow, there's big ones, is that you want to know, you know, is there like they actually I have the the one of their printouts, sample printouts here. But so stuff they're testing for in their oil is iron in the oil, chromium, copper, tin, lead, aluminum, magnesium, titanium, vermidium, I think it is. And then the total amount, the total amount of metals. Um, and then they kind of give you a breakdown of like all the different things. Like I said, I'll see if I'm about putting a picture up. Um, and then also too, they also give you an oxidization level, which is probably one of the most, um, important things to know about your oil, especially if you're running longer intervals. And even if you're not running long intervals is that you need to know what the oxidization level um, is of the oil and then also you want to know the soot load you want to know the dirt load all that type of stuff um, and then also if there's water um, you know the silicon is part of the silk the the um, will lots of times be lots of part of the um, the dirt load but anyways so they have how they have it set up here is oxidization level and then they, which is oil life contamination which is fuel water glycol potassium and then the silica now for the most part I personally think all in the diesel world you're going to be oxidization level and your fuel dilution is probably going to be with the biggest ones on there um, and they actually do give you a percentage of your you know like what your oil life is is what's left of your oil the life of your oil so if you're running extended oil changes um, and a lot of big trucks will run extended oil changes because they run so much oil and they put so many kilometers on. And this is probably more for guys that are putting lots of kilometers on their trucks, whether it be a newer truck, older truck, doesn't matter. Um, I think a lot of that though is guys that are actually putting big miles on their truck, like hot shop guys, delivery guys, uh, work trucks, that type of stuff. Because you honestly don't know, especially trucks at idle, they're the worst ones they by far are the worst because they don't get changed they get changed by their kilometers but they're probably way over the hours so that's a major problem as far as that goes now the reason for doing there again the reason for doing the oil analysis 
is so that you know what's going on. And sometimes you can prematurely fix a problem before you have a major problem. So what I recommend is whatever oil you're gonna use, whatever oil you're using, whatever brand, stick with that brand, whether it be conventional, synthetic, the, 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 the viscosity, none of that really comes down to it matters. But what I recommend doing is having an, a, a fresh oil sample done. So a new oil sample. Yes, okay, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money to have an oil sample done. Now that is something with SpeedLogic is that they are, um, well actually I have a couple of them printed off. They do have a few different ones. Um, these are just some ones that are printed off, but they actually do have Shell Rotel uh, 5W40. They actually have what the, 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 the new oil is. Now I don't know if they're gonna be adding more stuff to their oil analysis like they have a list of different ones. I don't know if they're gonna add more to that or not, um, but that was something I was actually gonna ask um, uh, Lake about, is if they were gonna add more like the, on the diesel side of things, because they do, they have a bunch of gas ones, but not a lot of diesel ones. So I was actually gonna ask him like, if you know he wanted to work some sort of a deal out, because that's good information for me, good information for them, also good information for you guys, as long as you're doing oil analysis, obviously. But if they don't have your oil, what I would recommend, and this is what I have done for mine, but I, I ship for speed logic is down in the States. So I mean to ship it there, it really doesn't make sense. Um, I would love to use them. Uh, you know, I like using people that, you know, have that help the community and all that type of stuff. It's just that, so an oil analysis is $45, which is fine, but then I have to ship it down there. So if I'm shipping it down there, um, you know, it's probably going to cost me another $25 or $30. Well, I can have an oil analysis done in town um, for $30 Canadian. That's $45 US. So it's considerably cheaper. Now, that said, I do actually want to um, compare. I'm going to compare with the guys that I use now versus Speed Logic in the testing that they're doing. So I'm going to have, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set an oil sample down to Speed Logic and I'm actually going to have one done here in town. And compare, not compare is per se the, the 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 accuracy. It's more the different tests that they're doing. That's more what I'm curious about um, because it's been a while since I've even done an oil analysis. I should be actually this is actually should have an oil analysis, but I'll probably do an oil analysis after we get done with it on the dyno. It's going to be on the dyno for a little bit. So uh, my 95 12 dollars on the the dyno right now. So that's what you want to do. Like if you want to actually keep a good eye on your truck, yes, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but, and you know, trucks are expensive. Engines are expensive, all that type of stuff. You know, it's a, uh, something that helps a guy out by, you know, knowing that you're not changing your oil enough, or you're ha starting to have a problem. You're getting a little bit of coolant in there, or you're getting fuel dilution or whatever it may be, or your air filter isn't up to the task of doing what you're doing. That is a big one, air filter not being up to the task, that you know that there's a problem. So that's, I'm a big ag advocate of, you know, preventative problem, preventing problems, so preventative maintenance. So when you get the, the oil analysis done of your new oil and then you send that sample down, the reason you wanna have the new oil is so that you have a base number to run off of. So you know that this is how much calcium, this is how much magnesium, zinc, um, all the different things that are there. Also something to note too, is if you notice that the numbers, like let's say your zinc and your phosphorus numbers are going down, that means that you're starting to use up that additive package in the oil. Now, if you put new oil in there and then test it again in you know, X amount of miles or kilometers, and that, you know, like let's say you went 10,000 kilometers or 10,000 miles on the last oil, and you're now on 5,000 miles and you're wearing that additive package back out again, that you might have a problem in there. There could be a problem, but usually if there's a problem when you do the oil analysis, you're gonna see it in the other part of the test, whether it be uh, aluminum, copper, um, iron, whatever it may be. So, and when, so I'm gonna send, I'm actually gonna send some stuff down to SpeedLogic. I have to talk to, I'm gonna call them and ask them about a bunch of sample balls and stuff. Um, because I would like to do probably four or five different samples. And I would like to, you know, get all the bottles and then ship them all down at the same time. So 
<clears throat> I need to call him and talk to him about it. But that's the reason that you really should be doing oil analysis. At least you don't have to do it all the time, especially if there's nothing wrong with the truck. You know, it's just one of those things where it's a preventative thing to know, you know, am I changing the oil? You know, like lots of guys, when, sh how long should I run my oil? You know, there, that's a, that's a question that, how do you know how long to run the oil? I run my oil way less than I, what I could. I could run it way more, but oil is cheap. Engines are expensive. That's how I've always said that. But lots of times you, especially if you're doing lots of, of miles, it, you know, for, to change your oil, you know, every, let's say 3000 miles. And if you're putting 3000 miles, you know, every, you know, two weeks, you know, like it's one of those things you want to make sure that, you know, you're using your money wisely. Right. So, you know, how, but how do you know how long you can run the oil? Oil analysis is going to tell you that. Yeah. Okay. You might have to do an oil. You might have to do five or six oil analysis one year, but then after that, you only need to do it once a year because you already now know the process of how often should I change the oil? How often should I change the oil filter? How often should I change the air filter? All that type of stuff. You're going to know that process if you're putting lots of miles on your truck. So hopefully this video helps a guy out and uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any more things you want me to do videos on. I got a bunch of different ideas for videos for doing, talking about oil and that type of stuff. But let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and remember, it's not rocket science, but if you're going to be dumb, you better be tough.